Okay, so do this. We're gonna stream it, right? Oh yeah. Copy the key. <laughs> All right, can we hear me? Hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Let's get some technicals out of the way to make sure that I'm not too loud. How are we sounding at the moment? It's just kind of weird because the mic is like not in front of me. It's on the side of me, which might make me sound better. All things considered. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to my live stream to go check to see how I sound. <laughs> We're streaming a video game? Whoa, it's almost like I'm a gamer. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face because God forbid, right? I don't sound bad. Okay, awesome. Yeah, my mic's not that bad. <laughs> no, because if you turn on the voice meter, you can catch everything. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, every little detail can be heard because I, I don't have any like <laughs> micromanagement for my sound. No, no. Can everybody hear Alex? Yeah, my my like a little little wasp in the distance. The li the little sound of him screaming out in the ether. Lazy, can I play this game with you? I love this game. And ironically, uh, I mean, I guess we could put Spindling in chat. It's just kind of difficult because me and Alex are on a call so that he can actually hear the game. <laughs> But, uh, we're glad to have you here, Spin. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, during the stream, I might, uh, do some, uh, because you can actually start a poll and you guys can play along with me that way. Otherwise, I would do this, uh, with Twitch integration, but... You gotta have Twitch. I have to have Twitch. <laughs> and God forbid I wanna actually start doing Twitch. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Alright, letting some people kind of file in. At least people can hear me. They can't hear the music because I turned off the desktop audio so that we can talk a little bit before we start. Let's get to our main hub. <laughs> Disgusting. That's amazing. I'm I love this already. I'm disgusting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, genuinely, this game is amazing. Probably one of, if not the best storytelling games of all time. I like games that tell stories. That's why it's, I've been really getting into Yakuza. See, the crazy part about this game is it's all story. It's like, all story. It's all just text. Like, there's a, uh, one of the, like, paths that you can take, because there's, like, four paths, each having, like, I think six different, <laughs> six different, uh, skills, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. And each one's a personality mm -hmm. of that, like, troping. So, <laughs> for example, Encyclopedia, if we maxed that out, we could be sitting here for probably, like, five minutes listening to lore about a painting on a wall. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets you really in-depth into the world's lore. <laughs> I wonder if people can hear me crunching on my cereal. Yes. If you, if you see the <laughs> mic and aux go up. When you take a bite, welcome don't you into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the eating ASMR. Oh my god, Spindling's dyslexic too? Yeah. Based. <laughs> Based. At least, I mean, you and Spindling have something in common. <laughs> We're dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you also r write your words upside down and backwards at a young age? <laughs> it's very specific, hon. <laughs> I just need to know how dyslexic you were at young age. 
I'll just stay here chilling. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I try to relate with the chatter, and he wants to leave. <laughs> so, we should probably get some things out of the way before we truly begin with our... <laughs> no, I drew instead. <laughs> we love Spinling. Go subscribe to Spinling! <laughs> Support this guy. So go subscribe to Spinling. He needs more subs. <laughs> he really does. You know I'll crack a cold one for him. Woo! Slime Beast is in the chat too. At least he was. I don't know if he's still here. Sup, Slimey? Slimey boy. The Slimester. <sighs> the Slime Master. <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm too high because my bike's really peaking. We'll just put it like down You're here. You're just very audible. I that's true. But I think this is a good spot where it's at. It's leveled out, so I think we'll be fine. So, a couple things before we start the stream officially. Uh, first off, I'm probably gonna need to replace the layout of this because this is Lazy Bedhead season one. We need to move on to season two. Actually, you know what I should do? I should add my boy. Uh, new source. And then I'm gonna tr put the boy in here because he's playing with us. Oh my god. Where's the boy? <laughs> I'm not sure if I just put this one. <laughs> the turbo rat. The turbo rat. No, I want the boy. Hold on. Where is he? I want the boy. Is it because... MP4. Oh, it's because it doesn't support. Because it's a. I need a PNG. Never mind. New source. The rat. We're gonna put the rat in here. <laughs> there he is. Oh, oh my god! I'm oh no! Huge. Oh no! Big. Big. <laughs> get over here. I gotta shrink it down to size. Oh god! Oh my god! Why are you so huge? Nero. <laughs> Nero. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there it is on stream. Perfect. <laughs> the rat has taken over. <laughs> the rat has taken over. <laughs> oh, but you're blocking out here. We'll put you right here. There you go. The rat is here. I am here. The rat is here. Say hi. <laughs> Whoa, <What? she's> <laughs> It really do be. So, a couple things. Uh, the chat right now is in subscriber-only mode because we had some shenanigans last night. Um, so, to avoid the further shenanigans, uh, it's just going to be in sub-only mode. Just in case. I know that my subs are pretty good. They follow the rules, so it'll be probably fine. Um, this is just an extra precaution because of shenanigans. shenanigans. <laughs> we want to avoid shenanigans. So, uh, a couple things. Uh, obviously, we're streaming this week, and we're not actually posting a video this week. We will have that video out next Saturday, and it's going to be uh, a Patreon-exclusive uh, podcast version and the main channel video. So, it's going to be another one of the Lazy and Friends, and I'm looking forward to it, because that one's, editing-wise, is turning out pretty good, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I want to do maybe... It'd probably be easier, like, just so that I don't go insane. Uh, I already kind of talked about this in a short, but uh, to switch up the upload schedules to every Sunday instead of Saturday. And I'll explain why just briefly. So the way I have my, <laughs> my whole thing set up is that I script Sunday and do, like, research or whatever. Um, I film Monday, and then it gives me Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to edit, and then I have to upload to Patreon Friday. So I have to edit like an hour long video in three days. I would rather kill myself. <laughs> so to switch it over to upload Patreon Saturday and then upload Sunday, um, it would be easier, I think, because that would give me more time to work on it for Patreon. Uh, that and like, I just, I just, I need to <laughs> prioritize like, Taking time to relax, I think, so I don't go insane. <laughs> Fun fact, relaxation is very good for the mental state. For the mental health. The mental so, health. that's how we're probably going to end up doing it for Patreon, uh, is just switching it over a day, so it would be like, Saturday is the upload date for Patreon, and then Sunday is the main video for YouTube. 
um, which will be easier. Also, I plan to either not upload a whole week to either do scripting because if I do if I dedicate a whole week to scripting videos and doing research then I'll have all the scripts done and then I won't have to worry about scripting Sundays um or and during that time while I'm scripting I can just do a stream so it'll be like three uploads a month and then a stream so I think that sounds good if that sounds good with you guys because I've been talking about wanting to do like streams forever like doing like weekly streams or not weekly streams i would i would die <laughs> monthly streams but i just haven't gotten around to it <clears throat> hi <laughs> wow the slurp of life <laughs> how are you doing love i'm fine you're doing great yeah we had to do a lot this morning because we had to go shopping this morning yeah, we had to get to groceries. We needed food. Any any uh <laughs> any donations that we get in chat is gonna go towards us um living. Because <laughs> we need to eat. <laughs> we don't it's have not, food. It's not, it's not as desperate as she makes it out to be. We're fine. It's just like <laughs> I have been. Once we get into a better living situation, I want to do more charity streams. I've been wanting to do one for end the backlog and like a couple other ones, but. Uh, financial, our fi I have to be in a good financial situation before I decide to donate to charity. <laughs> it's hard to donate to charity when you are also part of the charity. Yeah, <laughs> when you also need charity. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, I feel like once we decide what we're going to do by March, living-wise, it'll be easier to determine what oh, our yeah. financials are. Well, well, by that point, we'll have another income helping us out on that as well. Yeah, we're going to get a roommate. Oh, boy. I can exploit him for content. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he'll enjoy that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> all right. So I think that's all of the announcements out of the way. I'm sure you guys are done with me yapping. You guys, you guys have been waiting for 20 minutes for me to get to the main fucking point. So let's set up the stream and go into gamer mode. We'll be right back. Let me know if the desktop audio is too loud. If I can really turn it down. All right, let's get into gamer time. <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> it's the game. This is, I think, yeah, I think this is the game that you and I, uh, that we watched. Uh, what tomato game? We, yeah, and I think this was the game. This was the game that got me into it because we were watching it together. So I know a little bit about this game already, but I've never experienced it myself. I just know, like, uh, yeah, yeah. It's weird that I'm like streaming a video game and I'm a fucking commentary channel. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so I will say before we begin, I know I'm delaying, but like, uh, the topics discussed in Disco Elysium are kind of heavy. Um, at times, so we are going to have. Wait, check, double check if it's on. Stream yeah. about it if it's on. Um, there is some very foul language that we have to have this on, or else I get banned. <laughs> the music's oh. really loud. Uh oh. Well, you can just turn it down for me, actually. I can't. Unless if we want to turn the voiceover off and do our own voices. No, I, the voice, the voice acting in this game is phenomenal. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Trust, trust me. The voice acting in this game is through the roof. I yeah. Love it. So I'm gonna turn the mic aux up here. Turn this down a little bit. Hopefully that's a little better. It looks like the desktop audio is like barely peaking. Well, it's because the music just went out of uh, the cycle. Well, I know that, but like. I'm saying it's not as loud as it used to be. That's what I'm saying. And I also turned the mic aux up, so. 
There we go. Yeah, see how it's barely... Yeah, this will be fine, I think. <laughs> That's better, thank you. You're welcome. So, like I said, this game has... QWERTY. <laughs> this game has some very foul, dirty language that if I had not turned the streamer mode on, um, well, no, I'd way, get banned. But, <laughs> well, it's not that the... So the streamer mode just makes it so that you don't have copyright music on the stream. The language is already, I think, bleeped out. Yay! For the, most, for the most part. Oh, God. <laughs> so let's all be mature. We can handle it. All right. So, select archetype. Ooh. I like the artwork of this game a lot. Like, this is fucking cool. So. I think we create our own, little, our own little dude. Ooh. That'd be interesting. All right. So, one is terrible. <laughs> Three is average. So, one These thing to note okay. is that uh, Psyche and F uh, Physique are basically two separate health bars. One's for physical health and one's for mental health. <laughs> I want to focus on my mental health because I'm an <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> I'm a recovering alcoholic. Unless if I want my fucking mental health to be in the shitter. Yeah, just be ready for somebody to call you stupid and you fall for it and then die. Because <laughs> you have a heart attack. <laughs> I get so sad, I just keel over and die someone breaks your someone you you die from ego death this is motoristic your senses how agile are you why am i already at terrible <laughs> is it You're am i that mobile. much of an alcoholic <laughs> can you put it at weak well i mean i feel like this is here should i just randomize it whoa whoa just want to spam random one two three four stop. five six seven eight nine ten shit <laughs> i'm just stupid as shit <laughs> We're too good in school, but I can move. <laughs> Are we sticking to <laughs> I really like the part where Lazy said, I'm the disco Elysium, and she disco Elysium all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> We're sticking with this. This will be really funny. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be... This We're going to be, be dumb something. as... We're going to be dumb okay. as fuck. <laughs> right. now, here's the part where we pick our signature. So yeah. usually you put that into our like highest stat. <laughs> but I don't want to be so stupid anymore. So, <laughs> I would I recommend reading through each what each one is. Sure. All right. So, first is logic. Wield raw intellectual power. Deduce the world. Encyclopedia. Call upon your knowledge. Produce fascinating trivia. Yeah, trivia that can last up to literally two I'd rather, to five minutes. I'd rather die. <laughs> don't worry, we're done. We will never, we will never see it. We're done. <laughs> exactly. Rhetoric. Practice the art of pers persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. Hmm, I too like intellect conversation. This might not be a bad option. Well, the problem is, is that it's one, so it's practically non-existent. Damn. So we put our signature in it, it's still going to be non-existent. Play the <laughs> actor, the lie, detect lies. I'd, ra I'd probably would rather have drama then. Because I'm a detective. Understand Drama's, drama's kind of like insight in D&D. Yeah, you know, no shit. Um, understand creativity, see the art of the world. Uh, visual calculus. Cal visual calculus. I'm dyslexic and I know that. I'm gonna leave the stream. Let's <laughs> the stream, guys. No, vi <laughs> vi so visual calculus is basically uh. Bye, bye, guys. End the stream. <laughs> <laughs> no right. All right. Yeah. No. A visual calculus. The best way to put it is like uh, looking at a crime scene and doing the math and how things would work, such as like. Where that would this be rock more, have been thrown at? That might be. What's more the best helpful. angle? Things like that. Oh yeah, definitely could have helped. Could have if we weren't so fucking stupid. Yeah, if we weren't if we weren't <laughs> as, dumb, as dumb as rocks. <laughs> All right, violation. Hold yourself together. Keep your morale. That up. is your. That's your like, set, like your mental health. Gotcha. Inland Empire. Hunches and gut feelings. Dreams and walk and waking so, life. So you ever play Fallout in Vegas? <laughs> you know the Wild West uh, perk. <laughs> that's what that is. I, I'm sorry. I can't take anyone comparing anything seriously anymore. Ever since Jacob said, like in comparison to watching Scott Pilgrim, is have you seen Neon Genesis Evangelion? <laughs> 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 when everyone said anyone at time anyone is trying to compare anything now, I literally can't take it seriously because all I think of is that quote. But I. But this is literally the the, the, the Wild West perk okay, from Fallout awesome. New Vegas. So like just weird thing you. you there, there's a scenario where your tie will just talk to you. Why? Because you're, you're insane. Mm. 
You're basically making things. It's like talking to yourself. That's I'm an alcoholic. From my understanding. Empathy. Understanding others. Work your minor neurons. Mirror. Me <laughs> That's the end of the stream, guys. <laughs> That's the end of the stream. Goodbye. We can't do this bit twice. <laughs> I, I can do it as many times as I want. I can't keep getting away with this. Authority. Intimidate the public. Assert yourself. Be an asshole. Be an asshole. <laughs> I mean, I'm already stupid. I might as well be an idiot, too. Connect stupid to Station idiot. 41. Understand cop culture. This is called Express the Corpse. I said that right. <laughs> Suggestion. Charm men and women. Play the puppet master. Endurance. Take the blows. Don't let the world kill you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's yeah, your physical health. Pain threshold. Shrug off the pain. They'll have no hurt. To Wait. They'll have to hurt you more. <laughs> Scripts for hours. Can barely read one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> physical instrument. Flex power muscles. Enjoy healthy organs. I like my healthy organs. Electrochemistry. Go to party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. Yeah, this is the love perk. This, this, Yo, this, this is the drug perk. I mean, I love drugs. <laughs> and sometimes that that personality might pop out and make you take drugs, even if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, raise the hair on your neck. Tune into the city. It's like Sheepers. it's like sixth sense. This I would is think. like it, it. I would say this is more like an insight check. Well, no, because it, it's more of like a kind of like. You're like, you know how the back of your hair is stand yeah, up with yeah. some, yeah, something like that. My understanding of that. Half light. Let the body take control. Threaten people. <laughs> Go unga bunga. <laughs> I'm just gonna put all of my fucking points into making myself the dumbest fucking asshole. <laughs> and eye coordination. Ready. Aim. Fire. Perception. See, hear, and smell everything. Let no detail go unnoticed. Reaction speed. The quickest to react. An untouchable man. Savor feet. Fire? Fear? Whatever. Sneak S under their noses. Stun with immense panache. Panache. <laughs> Interfacing. Master machines. Pick locks and pockets. And composure. Straighten your back. Keep your poker face. Basically, if someone calls you a dumb idiot, you can you can make a composure check to try and not be intimidated and then take mental damage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there, there's many there, there's many little uh, cool interactions, too, of each uh, personality. Mm. So the question is, which one do you want as a signature? I, would... I, I definitely recommend anything that anything in the 4 or 5 category, which is okay. physics and motorics. Because if you put it in the... Let's think of it like this. There are all, all these personalities in certain scenarios are going to be fighting over each other to try and activate. Awesome. I love that. So whichever one has a higher role is the one that's going to be activated. I think so I they all do. make like secret roles in the background <laughs> of dialogue. <laughs> do you just want to be able to go unga bunga on people? <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes I wish I could. Uh, I want to take endurance probably. I mean, we don't need to take endurance because we already have four. We have four health, which is pretty good. Oh, okay. Shit, this is complicated. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do. I feel like. I think perception's pretty good, reaction's good, composure's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna confirm the perception. Because I, I may be an idiot, but I'm not unaware. You, you literally have caveman senses. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if not the. I, I wasn't done. <laughs> there is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. I'm sorry. I thought we were on the page of Unga Bunga. Why the fuck do I have an ancient reptilian brain? <laughs> what? I don't know. Why do we think that we have an ancient reptilian brain? Cause I'm dumb as shit. Hi, buddy. Oh, Dude. you have a reptilian brain. <laughs> He's got them reptile eyes. <laughs> ever. Oh, I'm sorry. I was supposed to. Continue. Never. Ever. I'm just gonna keep. <laughs> All right, chat. Which one should we <laughs> spam the chat? <laughs> Which one should we respond to? <laughs> Never uh, ever? I'm just gonna. I feel like I should just simply keep non existing. 
an audience a mere time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. This is great. <laughs> what was that about the ex something? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. I feel like what he just said completely went over my head. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is no utter void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within. This is yes, great. <laughs> it is. No wives? Great. Yeah, no great, no lives. Uh, what if, what was that about the X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning. And it will only lead to more awareness of the meat. What is he doing? Get out of the He's trying to stick his head in the Pepsi box. Pepsi <laughs> man! Pepsi <laughs> No, I want to know about the ex something. Ex love. Ex tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of a logic zone. <laughs> Alonzo, you never let me go. <laughs> you just go full Doctor Who. Uh, no, I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. That sounds awful. Let's All keep right. going. Alright, nothing town to fuck all, Barra. Return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient zero home. Look, there's... I'm tired of being this type of animal. And who gives a shit? The fuck is this dialogue, man? What in the world? You just become a crazy, crazy drunk. I'm gonna go crazy. Not you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal are over. <laughs> uh, wait, no. I need to bullet myself instead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? Yes. <laughs> I do let me off. Don't be naive. Of course not. I want to sail the, the inky blackness until forever ends. I do. I okay. wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, chef? <laughs> oh my God. I you were already subbed to me, slime bees. This is your own fault. <laughs> Fear and apprehension. You should ask what's out there first. Wait, did I do this to myself? Tell me what's waiting for me. I don't care. I'm an idiot! A brave idiot! <laughs> yeah! I saw a blighted hey, man hey, around hey, man. you. Hey, man. Hey, man. A sensation. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Oh, it said it, it said it, it said it, and straight. <laughs> Disco. <laughs> Please, no, I changed my mind. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. <laughs> Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck, and I'm in it. The I'm gonna go crazy. The stench of rises from your mouth. I know it. Hit. An ungodly headache. Help someone cut off my head. Oh. <laughs> Who am I? What sort of creature does this to their own mouth? <laughs> A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Alright, cat. It's time to see the world for what it is. It's time to wake up. It's time to get the fuck up. Even I'm trying to wake up for work. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was fucking naked for a second. I'm not 
naked, but I am confused. <laughs> naked, afraid, and in a destroyed Oh my room. god! The more you look at this picture, the worse it gets. <laughs> you can just fucking see the outline of my ball sack. <laughs> my god. Holy shit. Well. Ooh, I can, well. No, no, I didn't want to. No, no, I didn't want to wake up. No, I didn't want to. Got a demon in the bottom left corner. <laughs> I do. Oh god. I don't. I don't like it. We should probably put some pants on. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Hold oh. Yeah, yeah. You have to use some of the I keyboard. I have to use the keyboard. <laughs> well, no. Oh. So you, you click on the picture of the item. Okay. Yep, there you go. You see that little circle that pops up around you? You can also click on that. That's like You hear a jingle. Oh. Keys are clinking in the pocket oh, of your flare cut pants. It says whirling in racks on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Awesome. Alright, time to put some clothes on. Because if I don't, um, it's gonna be bad. More alcohol? A magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Oh, I can't get more drunk. This is shit. <laughs> tape. Empty set case. This real to real tape player is still on, only empty. Can I put. Wait, wait, excuse me. Sir. Sir. You just get, you Sir. Can, you can walk with WSAD as well. Sir. <laughs> I wasn't done looking at that tape cassette oh, thing. You just missed a perception check thing. What? So whenever that circle above, no, so whenever that circle thing pops around your character's like head mm -hmm. or in the environment, yeah, like that. That's like a aerial thing. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this up here. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. The other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. <laughs> Should I just go and grab it? Say fuck it. <laughs> I mean, you have very. I mean, seventy-two percent is a pretty high chance. What do you think, chat? Should I just grab it? <laughs> Should I just grab the fucking necktie as is? Seventy-two percent is pretty high. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's pretty good. Pull on the fan, pull on the light bulb. I feel like if I fuck it up though, does it hurt me? I know. Find, <laughs> find out. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Nailed it. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. So we got a necktie that looks fucking awesome. I don't know what the fuck my voice is telling me, but this looks fucking baller. Uh, jacket. Am I not wearing a shirt? I'm not no, wearing a shirt. Sure. Where the fuck is my shirt? <laughs> Am I yeah, just gonna I go it, out like this? I guess it's time to find out. Oh, God. How do I, how do I get out of here? Like that. Awesome. Um, hold on. Uh, tap. Is there any other sh There's my shoe up there. I don't see... Any shirt I can grab at the moment. Oh wait, what's that? Wait. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus nine. Assess the damage. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. See, it says there, this is a white check. You may retry it, which means that you can always, if you fail, you can come back after a level up to do it again. Hmm. If, you, if you level that up, of course. The shards face Woo! outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Oh, I must have broke the window. Did I break it with my own hand? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What More likely say? a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Wait, what am I doing? Assess the size of the imp uh, It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. 
like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which, coincidentally, is missing its friend. I threw my shoe out the window? Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't need it. I don't need anyone. <laughs> the window it. agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. <laughs> Fine, I'll go get my other shoe. Give me my fucking. Give it. Give it. Give it. Take the shoe. I got the shoe. I am only wearing one shoe. I still haven't figured out like what the fuck this is. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to fuck with this. Okay, I guess I won't. Okay, time to go into the bathroom that smells like garbage. You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Shit, dude, I fucked up this apartment. This is fucked. Oh. Hello. Hi. What's this? Can I break into the neighbor's room? Get get in here. All right, what's this? There we go. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. <laughs> Hot water sprays from the base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself; just the outline of a man. Who's ready to see my ugly mug? Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Underneath the soft <laughs> what if I just what if I just never look? I just never know what I look like. <laughs> then we get that cursed look at the bottom left. <laughs> We're just stuck with this forever. The, the, the fucking ethereal demon. Nah, I think we want to look at my ugly mug, don't we, chat? <laughs> don't, don't we, chat? <laughs> As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Alright. Halt. You clearly have not thought this through. You okay. won't like what you see there. Shut the fuck and up. And you will never unbecome it. You know what? I still- I don't care. Maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. <laughs> yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. <laughs> oh, there's an operator symbol. The fuck? That's so funny. <laughs> Where to even it? begin? There is the bloatedness. <laughs> then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Bro. Why am I... I don't need to self-deprecate that much. At least my tongue's I'm okay. Sorry. It's not. Touch. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bet you are. Your nose feels <laughs> like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so my tongue's okay. I'm scared. I want to stop doing this. I'm just going to here. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, God! <laughs> Get a little screaming. You're going to peek the mic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let me... Hold on. I'm going to fix something. Now, let's go into... Since you guys have been so nice... Let's go into the chat and enable at least a lot more people to come in here to talk it up since you guys have been polite so far. Bloop. Oh my gosh, she's taking it off subscriber mode. <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> uh, customization. There we go. Hopefully that uh, changes some things. There you go, anybody. Uh, welcome. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> I, I, took, I took the chastity belt off. You guys can say whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know about that, book chief. <laughs> well, see how that one plays out. <laughs> look, I don't look that bad. I look... Yeah, I got those mutton chops. It, it, it's more of the screen on the bottom left. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. You All have right. no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me! What is it? <laughs> of course I do. It's um, <laughs> is it some kind of superstar? I think I'm a superstar. <laughs> what? 
this, <laughs> this is, is the face of a late stage alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know, super stardom sounds nice. <laughs> I feel like I should just be flat out honest with myself. <laughs> this is AA meeting the game. Too late. Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? <laughs> I'm not making it, the face is just making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. You can't, <laughs> can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. Good. <laughs> Fuck you. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? <laughs> God, I don't know. It's indescribable. <laughs> I think it's supposed to look suggestive. <laughs> I'm afraid it's meant for the lady. <laughs> oh He's a lady killer. <laughs> Alcoholic lady killer. Yeah, let's go. Please promise yourself you are not going to try it on any of the ladies. Whatever happens. I promise. I promise. Lie. No one tells me what to do. No one tells me what to do. That's right. Not even yourself. <laughs> go ahead. Try something. It's not an order. Dig deep into your mind and locate the source of the expression or attempt to stop. <laughs> All right, chat. First poll of the day. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta spell this right. Hold on. These are big words for Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. We started a poll. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will respond to the poll, but <laughs> if we want to attempt to stop smiling, <laughs> or do we want to fucking <laughs> just try to locate why the fuck I am smiling? Leave your comments down below. We're getting encyclopedia. We're getting encyclopedia. So far. We're getting an encyclopedia. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. He is cool. Are you trying I'm to distract the boy? I'm trying to because he's been trying to just distract us. <laughs> I'm trying to get distracted right now. <laughs> Alright. I, I just want chat to know, understand that we have no hope for either one of these options. I will probably eat shit at both of these. <laughs> uh, let's go with encyclopedia. Like the rest of you. It comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna leave the mirror now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, here I am. Whoa. Wait, can I zoom out? Ow, what? Is, is he biting you? No, he's climbing. I don't know what you want. Whoa. Oh, here's my shirt. I was looking for this. All right, are we all set now? Um, yeah. Okay. Now we look like a fine gentleman. We have all of our acquired, um, wares. <laughs> it's fine. Yo, I can put a hat on. I need to find a hat. Yo, do we have a hat? I need to find a hat. Empty cassette. New goal, find hat. New goal, immediately, find hat. Is that a hat up there? Hat. Give me a hat. Anyways. I feel like shit. This is what it means to be an alcoholic. Well, I think we explored pretty much everything in this space. Actually, where is this? Because there's no bed here. It's just like this fucking couch set up. I think it's one of those, like, uh, like futons. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Or what used to be a bed. <laughs> Jesus. What have I done to this fucking room? Get me out of here. Alright, here we go, everybody. Immediately the headache's gone. Alright. Hello. This is so interesting. See if container you can't open. Equipped a pry bar. Oh, wow. Okay, so this whirling in. So it must be like a motel. Oh. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Shit, I might just fucking hurl out here. Oh, hey. It's my other shoe. Oh. Yeah. A 
a gust of briny wind washes over you. Take my shoe. All right, now I'm a more upstanding type. There they both are. Type. Oh, Two okay. identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Why do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. I don't know about y'all, but I look like a fine-ass motherfucker. <laughs> I know I looked like shit this morning, but I put myself together pretty well, all things considered. After a disaster, I always come back together. <laughs> this is the face of a lady killer, Buster. Ooh. Oh. Something on the table. Ooh, free money. Money! Money. I feel like if this character were to have a voice, it would be voiced by the guy who does Mr. Krabs. <laughs> uh, would that not be a great option? I, I feel like that's SpongeBob. No, but he does like um. What other voices do he, does he do? Actually, he's in know. Detroit Become Human. Really? Yeah, he's the main uh, old man detective guy that uh, what was his name? Connor, I think. No. No, Hank. Hank. Wait, wait that's that's Mr. Krabs. Uh. That's the voice of Mr. Krabs. Yep. That's actually. That's really cool. Yeah, this guy. This yeah, is Hank. Mr. Hank's, Hank's a bro. <laughs> they Hank. actually use his uh, actual face, too, which is so funny. Oh, my God. Let's, that's awesome. I want to find... Hold on. Let me find the actual name of the voice actor. Uh, voice actor... Clancy Brown. I didn't know that. I, they I use don't his know real face in the game. Yep. That is so cool. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. You know, now, now that you've mentioned it, it does sound... Oh my god, how did I not know this? <laughs> I don't think you've ever played the trick we call human. At no, least... but I watched like three different streams. <laughs> Hello, yeah, officer. Like, I've watched so many things. Hi, lady, I wasn't fucking talking to you. Alright, channel is uh, it's March, the year 51. Oh, so we're in the past. Awesome. Hey, you. Now I'll talk to you. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. A Miss Orange disco dancer named Clancy J. I'm not even gonna attempt. <laughs> her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. <laughs> Officer, am I military personnel? Turn your bloated face away from her from her beauty and just keep walking. That's rude. <laughs> uh, Sir. No. <laughs> she seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. <laughs> Chief executive officer. Chief executive right? officer. The young woman shakes her head slowly. Okay, chief tactical officer. No, you're a police officer, sir. <laughs> you're goddamn right, I'm a policeman. Don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you're shitting me. <laughs> I should just look befuddled. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Oh, all this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. <laughs> I feel like I'm being too honest with this woman. I should have just went along with it. <laughs> and what business is that? Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Of course, of course. Suggestion! <laughs> Try the expression on her. <laughs> Let her know you want. Physically. <laughs> no. The chat. <laughs> Don't you dare make me try it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's do another poll. So, <laughs> should we try the face? Oh my god. <laughs> try the face. <laughs> I'm making the dyslexic guy do this. <laughs> You're a normal fucking person. You <laughs> start the plot. <laughs> Try the expression. Be a normal chat. fucking person. <laughs> They're making the right decision here. They're telling us God, not to be a, a fucking weirdo. You have a normal audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
That's so funny. <laughs> uh, I give you guys all 30 seconds to make this decision for me. To make this decision go completely <laughs> south. <laughs> oh my god. Don't. <laughs> they're, just, they're telling me just don't. Don't. All right, fine. We won't. <laughs> All that right. would be really funny. It would be, but I don't want to make her uncomfortable. <laughs> She's helping me out. Who in their light way would let me be an officer of the law? <laughs> that's, that's what I do. I should get going now. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Huh? I'm going to go with this Don't one. be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. <laughs> that doesn't make that's me feel any better. <laughs> that, doesn't make, that doesn't make me feel any better. Uh, why don't I remember being a cop or anything? Could it be because of the drinking? No! <laughs> she hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired. Her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. <laughs> Chad, do you still want me to not try the... <laughs> Alright, I'll Of I'll course. Do divine intervention. <laughs> be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Thanks. I'll let you know. Something stirs in you oh. as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask questions. It's like you said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. What if I don't want to ask questions? Before you go, I have some questions for... Hmm. Should I ask her some... I mean, what questions I mean, you I know ask? nothing of what's going on right now. True. So and more, I don't think more... she would either. So. Well, she, I mean, she knows more about you than you know about yourself. That's true. I just know that I'm a cop. <laughs> oh, it's... I mean, ask questions. Sure. Yes. Uh, where exactly is... Uh, tell me, is the 5-1... <laughs> Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything like... Oh. I mean, I guess that would be a good thing to know, right? There was the usual you? ruckus. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Loud oh, disco yes. Music. Various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. She raises an eyebrow waiting for the name to connect with you. Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we go on. Yeah, we go on all right. It mostly gets <laughs> hard, doesn't it? <laughs> should I go with the innuendo, or should I just agree? <laughs> Chat! No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's just it would appear so. At around 2 o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. What a happened? slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Oh, God. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. <laughs> that it so doesn't singing? matter anymore and that we're alone now, it was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear me like that. When you say wounded, do you mean like in a cool way, like a wild beast? <laughs> yes. It was very cool. I think that's sarcasm, Jet. I don't think she actually means uh, I it. Don't, I don't think she actually cares. Then, what then you started screaming and trashed the place. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? That is so me. What did I do? <laughs> that was base. That's so me. A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed out. Um, it prides me to hear this. <laughs> Tell me there's more. Oh my god. And that's psycho. <laughs> I'm such a destructive animal. I'm such a fucking Neanderthal. I'm such a fucking alcoholic. I love it. <laughs> there was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. 
what is it that they have against the police here? Where, where is? Well, I, I know where here is. Generally speaking, I'm in a motel, I guess. Yeah, but that might be. I mean, asking questions doesn't hurt. Uh, where exactly is? You're here? in a hostel, sir. No, like where are we? We're in the world. We are in Revachol. <laughs> Should that mean something to me? Revachol forever. <laughs> How did you tell me something? <laughs> How about you tell me something else instead? Should that mean something? To you me? sure look like you're from Revachol. Revachol parties. What is it that they have against the dock police here? workers? Are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast. I can't say about the rest of the city. It's 51. What century? Okay, it's 51. The current century? And what is that? What number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. How many centuries have been there? Then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Oh, so this is not in the past. This is in the near future. <laughs> What's so funny? You're right. There is nothing funny about civilization. <laughs> Okay, I think this is yeah. Okay. yeah we've Glad to have been of assistance. See you later, lady. So we've learned that we're in the All current right. century. We are in the current century, everybody. I think <laughs> I think we've made a lot of progress here. All right, so we know we're a cop. This is the current century, and I was having a meltdown last night. <laughs> but it was cool. But it was cool, like a wild, like a wild animal, like a wounded boar. All right. It looks like she left a nice long stub in the ashtray and still smoking. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray. Light it up and smoke the living shit out of it. <laughs> this is your inner drugs coming in. <laughs> the what now? The living <laughs> shit. Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. <laughs> Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster, a murderer, the gnome of Jeroma. Jeroma. You feel like a smoker, especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub, still smoldering deliciously. I don't like how I describe cigarettes to myself. I don't think I'm a smoker. I think I'm overcompensating. But she broke it. But she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette, or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that, a carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied, then smoke them all. I'll make that priority number one. I, I love all these options. <laughs> yes, I should do that. I should enthusiastically do that. I should not not do that. I'll make it priority point one while well, I think about it. Well, these are all not a no. A lot of yeses and a maybe. I'll do a maybe. Good. Thinking about yummy cigarettes in your mouth is the next best thing. Make sure you think about juicy sticks of tobacco all the time, though. It doesn't count if it's not all the time. <laughs> My electrochemistry makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't. Don't like... worry. It's only it only gets worse from here. Uh... <laughs> and when you're Surely. done thinking about them. Graduate to getting them. Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. Oh, do they? Sure. You don't say. I'm gonna break into this guy's house. <laughs> Let me in! No, okay, fine. <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> Wait, can I actually talk to her still? The door is closed. No, nah, I'm gonna leave her alone. I, I feel uncomfortable just by her knowing too much about me. W this is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trompe Le Monde. All right, well here we are, chat. In the, can I go downstairs, please? Can I? Can Just click. I gotta click on the fucking stairs. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> oh. Where am I? The music is keeps so good. It is good. I like it. All right, hello everybody. What's this? Like, summer door closed for winter. Yo, can I just? <laughs> this is where the lyrics would be. A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing it. All right, cool, cool. 
get up there and sing. Wish. The speaker is connected to the radio. The music is so static. You should totally sing karaoke here. The yeah! first time <laughs> your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. <laughs> oceanic soul. My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. <laughs> My soul is a, c a cubic continent that <laughs> is obscured by the hangover. Um. Huh. <laughs> should I make myself an asshole chat? <laughs> should bunga I? Bunga. Should I? I. I feel like my soul is immense right now with all of the alcohol and the smoke. Thinking about being a smoker. Being a smoker really makes me think about sing succulent soul cigarettes out. all the time. <laughs> Utterly. And it needs to be heard it's time to through a PA it. system by other people, yeah. whether they like it or not. <laughs> Ram it up their ears, says your adrenaline gland. Violently express yourself. What should I sing when it comes to it? This goes well with the theory I'm developing that I'm a yeah. down on my luck superstar person. <laughs> Who is mistakenly identified as a cop for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. Sure. You should probably go on stage and pose for a moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What should I sing when it comes you to You should it? sing the sad small church song from that tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Of course, they, they'll really get the gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy, like from the ostentious orchestration folks. No, no. Don't sing the happy song. It's <laughs> stupid. Sing the sad song. It's profound. You would need another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. This goes well with my theory that I'm a developing. I'm a pound on my luck. Who is mistakenly Dude, identified as a oh, cop shit. foot? <laughs> Fuck me. Well, I guess I can't actually sing karaoke. Well, stand now. on the stage. He's did, he did suggest that. Can I go on the stage? Yeah, just click. Yo, here I am, everybody. She was right. You belong here. I do. These are my people. Check that out. So oh, now these so are your objectives. Get hold of a sad song on tape. Oh, because the other one's broken, so I need that. So find smokes and sing karaoke. I love not smine smokes is one of them. Yeah, let's not do any police work, chat. Let's just do anything else other than being a cop. I understand. You can complete this game without even co completing the case at hand. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> But the fact that just all the like dialogue and story that goes on is amazing. Monday's right now, it's a water cooler. What the fuck did I just grab? Those up there? Oh, it's a health thing. Yeah. Healing. So now you can heal yourself when you're on the verge of death. Basically. I saw a part of an electric juicer that comes from the kitchen. Someone's working. Yeah, this guy. Can I go back here? That's the kitchen. <laughs> The door is bolted. Sign reads, kitchen reserved for personnel until 13 o'clock. Awesome. Let me click on everything. Uh, inside you catch a clip of the Union Paraphernalia, a strike poster. Some red moon. A sign reads, mess hall reserved for Union members. Alright, cool, cool. A little pinball machine is unplugged. Uh, is there anything else I need to look at? One, uh, tab. Okay, I think I. Wait, what the fuck is that? What is that? Money. Unfortunately, you can't get to it right now. It's blocked <laughs> off. The money. I'm, so I'm going to look at this guy. <laughs> a man in his late twenties stands behind <laughs> the that? counter, inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Bard, look at the stuff bird. <laughs> A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Continue. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. A small engraved steel tag says, The Great Skewer. Stair Kawari's Skewer. What happened to that bird? 
That's a great score, right? Look, your buddy is over there. Excuse me, I Look, was trying to have a lively conversation. This fucking asshole. This fucking purple guy looking ass. Oh <laughs> William Afton looking ass. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Well, I didn't need you to give me a fucking attitude, <laughs> Squidward tentacles. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. <laughs> What's the fucking difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where'd the Sylvie go? She just, you know. You know. <clears throat> Fuck this guy. I want to punch him in the face. <laughs> okay, it's the heck. caveman talking. It's, it is the caveman talking. Whoa! I feel like you would have loved uh, authority. <laughs> Probably. Because usually authority is when you just escalate, escalate, escalate. Damn. Oh, well. I guess I'm... Oh, Hello, well. sweetie. Sorry, right, though. Hi there. Lena, the cryptozoologist wife. This is my wife! <laughs> I love my fucking wife! I think that's the alcohol talking. You man. shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Oh. So this is my friend. Hello, friend. Um... Hi. There's a book just a man he is just floating. What the fuck is this? He's tapping his foot on the floor. What the fuck is happening? Looks like he's oh, waiting for someone. Does it you. look like he's holding the book but, uh, on the floor? When, when you hovered over him, it, uh, it did up too. That's so fucking weird. Why? <laughs> Why is we the book floating? <laughs> All right. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. This you. guy's a bro, by the way. All right. As you approach. He narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blazer. Wait, are you still talking about this? Or? Yeah, the, or the Kim. So he, he's, uh, what it's referring to is that you guys are under the same organization is what it's signifying. Gotcha, okay. Shake Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name. Shit. <laughs> All right, chat. Okay, then. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to collect anything. Clicked. What? Hello? I was gonna... You hit one. What the you fuck? You tapped one on the keyboard. Oh, you gotta be fucking shitting me. <laughs> I could have been cool. Fuck it, I don't care. Don't worry, you could have been known as like Constable Cunty or whatever. <laughs> I wanted to be Constable Cunty. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetize. <laughs> it's okay, we're like an hour into the stream. YouTube will never know. <laughs> I'll never look this deep. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? There's some kind of misunderstanding. You're talking to me for so you're talking you're taking me for someone else. <laughs> just fucking like I don't know who you are. <laughs> you mean him? Nods towards the cafeteria manager. Yeah, I just talked to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Interviews? Oh no! <laughs> oh, god. oh god! Um, yes, the police. I am aware. I am a policeman. <laughs> I love how oblivious your character is. He's just play, trying to play along so poorly. <laughs> yes, the police. I am aware. I am a policeman. This, this plays into the no brain. <laughs> right. And the interviews? Yes, I, I should just keep saying this. It's just gonna loop on itself, I think. Um, I have. I don't know. And would you Would you want to lie to your partner? I don't know. I need someone to help me. I'm an alcoholic. I don't know who I am. I'm also an alcoholic. We're in the same brain. No! We're like the voices in his head. Yeah. For real. For real. <laughs> what are At the fifty seventh, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest, and then just. Skim the surface. Prepare the field. Get to know the players. You don't do that? 
Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I haven't. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. I gotta, I gotta appreciate that he's not super judgmental of me, not knowing who the fuck I am. <laughs> have you removed the dead body from the tree? <laughs> I don't like dead bodies. <laughs> Look, man, you know. Yeah! <laughs> Completely! No. <laughs> yeah, I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Oh, Kim, you're making this really hard for me, man. <laughs> dead body. Mm -hmm. Look, man, you know! Yeah! <laughs> Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? No. no. So, the body is still in the tree. <laughs> I love Kim's normal person reactions to our crazy ass actions. <laughs> this is the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It is obvious he would have preferred for the body to no longer be in the tree. No shit. <laughs> Where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. How can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. Oh. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Uh, the what? Internal Affairs. And I'm not them. I'm from Criminal Investigation. You said the insignia? The white rectangle you mean? Yes. But they're just white rectangles. So. They're not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. I see. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage, but again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? You mean you don't have a badge? <laughs> it was not <laughs> it was not on me when I woke up. Pretend you found it. I have my badge. I am a policeman. I have my badge. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking at you. What should I do? I'm just gonna be straight honest with him, man. I'm a fucking mess. I'm an alcoholic and I don't want to be this, this way anymore. He's gonna be your caretaker. <laughs> Please take care of me. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. can't remember anything. <laughs> what are we supposed to do again? <laughs> this is the worst cop known to man. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid dumb cop. I only know monkey. I am. I'm going back to monkey. But I can't remember anything. I can see you drank last night and the night before. And that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Thanks, Kim. That really narrows down what the fuck I'm doing here. A painkiller would be good about now. This thing is pulsating with discomfort. The best cure for a headache is, of course, morphine. Don't <laughs> that. So cigarettes will have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> my electrochemistry sucks. <laughs> Man, this pain sucks. Time for a smoke. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. But first, we have to take it down. <laughs> all right, After you, roll. officer. Alright, I have a friend now. Yeah, the book is just floating. Yep. It, every time I wheel I'll over him. Around, see if maybe it, like, it disappears. Nope! Oh my god. Oh that's my great. god! <laughs> that's an amazing glitch. <laughs> Kim, Kim is a psychic holding him. <laughs> we have a psychic friend. This is fucking awesome. Alright, everybody. 
I I just I love it's this. So distracting. I love this so much. <laughs> Kim, 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 are you all right? Kim, Kim, is it attached to your chest or something? What the fuck is going on? Oh, <laughs> it's great. All right. The man with the unimpressive beard notices right, you approaching. Guy. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? The lieutenant you run this place. Yes. He responds tearsly. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. He looks at you really like he still doesn't know your name. The harboring of ruin. <laughs> The harbinger of ruin. What? <laughs> Nothing. I just wanted to see what would happen if I said that. <laughs> the glooming. I'm into it. It. I'd like to. Play as a fucking psycho. I would play as a fucking psycho. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> the human experiment will soon be over, cafeteria manager. It doesn't matter if you understand. What is this, a joke to you? Yes. Is this what you get when you call the police now? This guy? <laughs> We've been waiting for a week here. <laughs> I ruined it. I, it's over. <laughs> Sir, I understand your concern. But we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Nice job, Kim. Thank you. Kim, Kim, yes, of course. Control the situation. <laughs> Kim, 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 Kim. Just he completely ignored the fucking schizo rant I just went on. He, he just completely glossed over it like fuck it. <laughs> he just pretended you didn't exist. <laughs> he just pretended I didn't just do that. The most fucking crazy thing I could have ever done. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. But it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, hands it to the lieutenant. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't ask you that. I didn't imply that. Detective. Yeah. I have everything. You? Uh, <laughs> he looks into his little notebook. Oh, you mean, do I have questions? Yes, yes. He means, do you have questions for me, like a police officer would? I fucking hate this man. I hate him so much. Uh, where exactly is Behind the this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. And how do we get there, then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Um, why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Rude. She pertains to the coming apocalypse. This is the second time you've avoided I've, the subject. You should just keep going psycho. <laughs> <laughs> you've already started schizoing on She pertains to the coming apocalypse. Does she? Maybe she does. Maybe she pertains to the apocalypse. <sighs> Sylvie is not here because I asked for her number. The dead body out back didn't help either, but it was mostly me. I hope you appreciate that. Yeah, I did. Fuck you. You deserve to be rejected because you look like a fucking incel. Thank you. Mystery solved. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. <laughs> this stuff's getting on my nerves. I'm a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 
I'd like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know, I just went for it. You're right, I probably shouldn't have that. Nah, this stuff gets under my nerves, I'm a feminist. What? <laughs> That's right, if there's one thing I know about myself is that I'm a total raging feminist. <laughs> so what you're, with, love, what, what you're witnessing right now is the one of the many views that this game when, when you get an option to do something crazy, it lets you go full throttle. <laughs> I'm so going full is throttle. Is that so? Mr. Feminist. Uh, <laughs> Inexplicable feminist. Teacher. He catches the reds before he leaves his mouth, probably thinking it's best not to say anything. That's right. Fuck you. Who killed I him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Fuck he doesn't you. know. He just said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they? Before you said they hoisted him up on the tree, what did you mean by they? Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. <laughs> well, <laughs> imagine lynching because you got bored. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's such a slow day. I think I'm going to go fucking lynch somebody. I'm going to go lynch Jerry. I'm going to lynch <laughs> Jerry. He's pissing me off. You mean the strike? Yes, the oh. strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The Unionisters probably thought they'd send a message. Did you kill him? <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Just ask him blatantly, did you kill him? Did you kill him? Are oh, you crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Suddenly he turns up. Blood is being pushed to your muscles. You should hound him on this. Hound him hard. The prey drive says. Did you kill him? <laughs> Great! Your fucking name is great! <laughs> like a fucking cheese grater. You're oh god, the caveman's asshole. coming out. Oh, oh, oh. No, I didn't. You can tell me, great. You killed him, right? I didn't. I don't appreciate this. What is this? Why did you have to kill him? Do I have to answer him? Is this mandatory? The lieutenant stands motionless. His expression unreadable. Did he hurt you? Is that why? <laughs> Did you get some kind of sick kid killing him? What are you, an idiot? I yes. told you, I haven't killed anyone. Anyone? Have you killed someone else then? He ignores you. <laughs> <laughs> I am the world's greatest detective. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. That's Let's cool. go. Not so fast, Mr. Feminist. <laughs> you owe me 130 royale. What is real? I don't owe you shit! <laughs> oh, you don't owe me shit? Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit, you owe me money. We do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? What the fuck is this? What? <laughs> That's the F word. No, that's why he caught himself cut himself off from <laughs> Mr. Feminist. <laughs> Sounds like extortion to me. Alright, calm down. What is this about? Oh, calm down. I don't wanna you, I you don't, don't wanna turn it into a kid. I don't wanna turn it into this. <laughs> you know, I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here or some backpacking arsehole off the boat. <laughs> the next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please, just give me the money. You're under arrest. <laughs> You're under arrest. All right, chat. All right, chat. We're gonna. We're, you're gonna help me decide whether or not I should arrest this guy for wanting me to pay him. Alright, so, be, so sum it up right now, she went caveman on this purple guy, and uh, he's now getting upset that we don't, that we have to pay for destroying his entire apartment room. Alright, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Should I arrest this fucking guy? <laughs> arrest
arrest him for him trying to extort <laughs> us for using his room in his motel. <laughs> Don't hurt William Afton. Aw, oh, why not? He's a fuck. Look at this fucking guy. This is so unhinged. <laughs> it is. It really is. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Didn't, didn't this actually happen? No! <laughs> no! Don't give him any sort of validity, Slimeys. Don't give him anything. No! But what exactly is money? <laughs> I how, get... how can we pay it? We don't know what it is. Yeah, dude, I don't fucking confine to the laws of money if I don't know what money is. <laughs> I mean, what is real? People don't want me to arrest him. It's so sad. <laughs> Fine. How about the pool. <laughs> arrest him and demand to know where the children are? <laughs> <laughs> no, Slime, you missed it. We actually berated him, asking <laughs> him why him did he, murder. yeah, accusing him of murder, and he we just kept <laughs> digging it in. The children. <laughs> what exactly is money? What are you brain damaged? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I might be. <laughs> money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. <laughs> Please just show him the coins you found. Is this money? <laughs> Proceed, but don't show him the coins. There you are. What the fuck is this? I'm so I'm such an unhinged person. Uh, <laughs> uh, should I just keep doing like the childish thing and just keep asking why? <laughs> why? Oh no, you're the sociopath. <laughs> Proceed to show him the. Pick your poison of socio. <laughs> why do I need it? For survival to pay me. Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to stay in Martinez, and it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy. But it lets you be unhappy for a while longer. Chad. <laughs> Chad, I think he might be on to me. If you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us. Me too. That's why I need you to pay me. I'm not an asshole. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, is this money? Yes, it is. That's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm now down to 90, right? It just can't just keep the money. <laughs> just keep the There's money. a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. <laughs> uh, what do I want Let's see. Place? Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Officer. Maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. Fuck this place! I'll, I'll take my chances on the street. Uh, I don't have a home. <laughs> I don't remember where my home is. <laughs> Isn't there somewhere else I can stay around here? Uh, I don't have a what home. Is home. What is home? <laughs> I don't remember where my home is. Fuck this place! I'll take my chances on the street! <laughs> I'm gonna do, isn't there somewhere else I can You mean that? somewhere else to run up a huge debt? I don't think so. The union squeezed most places out of business to fund the strike. You're better off home. I don't have a home. <laughs> it's a really awesome game. I'm glad you're streaming it. We might do this more often, because I know this game's pretty long. This game is very long, but also very worth it. I don't remember where my home is. <laughs> Officer, you really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. Good luck. New pass. Pay for the. D I'm not gonna pay this guy shit. So real. Oh yeah, hit that. Oh. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. No. And this place sure isn't it. I really 
really encyclopedia. Don't, I really don't remember. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know, near south, maybe? You don't really know, do you? I don't. Does this mean I'm homeless? <laughs> south, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow to build an exact street, the exact number on the building? I live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo <laughs> Entertain the thought when you get the time. Hobo Maybe cop. being a hobo and a cop has its advantages. <laughs> These are all the objectives. Oh my we got. fucking god! But gotta... go to the go to the next one to the right, from the bottom right. This one? The, the head. The head. Yeah. So this is your thought cabinet. This is Feminist agenda. Yeah. Hell yeah. So so this is what so it shows you what you gain temporarily during the research and how long it's gonna take. This artwork is fucking nuts. Who made this? All right, so I have achieved hobo cop. So no, these are thoughts that you need to re basically initialize so that you are equipped with them. I'm gonna do my feminist agenda. Right. <laughs> uh. So for. During the research, you will now have plus two authority nice. against men. Woo! Yeah! Like, whenever you talk to men. a man, you will have more authority against them. So do I just it, keep it going? Or yeah, what? so it will keep going until it finishes. So you got so in three and a, uh, three hours and forty five minutes in game. Oh, I see. Okay. Cool. Well, I love being a dirty feminist, guys. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I can love. Oh, this is my stuff again. Yeah, so this is all the stuff that you got right now. Awesome. Cool. My perception is my main thing. Okay. Good to know. All right. Feminist cop, hobo cop. Floating fucking notebook. <laughs> Kim with his floating notebook. I'm the book. fucking joker. I, what the fuck is it? I'm the fucking joker. I make fucking cool jokes. <laughs> Do I need to talk to her again? I mean, you can. Hi. Everything's all about choice. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Wait, who's sweetie? Who's sweetie? <laughs> what does, does that mean you like me? <laughs> who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. <laughs> I'm not sweetie, look at me! You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and that silly dimple on your chin. Bitter. <laughs> dimple or not, I'm a bitter man. The years have taken the toll. That stupid dimple has only brought me SUFFERING! <laughs> I don't want to talk about the dimple anymore. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. You know, I want to be nice to her since she seems nice. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. Me too. I completely forgot to introduce myself. She slapped herself on the forehead. I'm Lena. My I'm husband Lena. Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough. For the motley crew, hire her on the spot. <laughs> How'd you like to roll with me? I don't know if you noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. <laughs> I just really fucking lean it in on this lady. Lady in the wheelchair. I don't know if you know me or anything, but I don't know who I am. <laughs> Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. <laughs> Her eyes follow your movements with some concern. I drank so hard I forgot literally everything! I hope you're right. I hope it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Forget I said anything. <laughs> nah, I, I gotta I, I gotta commit. <laughs> I gotta commit to the crazy. <laughs> I drank so, I drank so hard I forgot literally oh, everything. My. You know where we are, right? Uh, we're in Revishaw. That's right. In a hostel called the Whirling in Rags, to be precise. Mm, okay. Honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Revishaw. What kind of place is How this? would I even begin to tell you? Revishaw is the most beautiful city in the world. We're fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite Speaking lost. of history, 
You know what year it is. Yes? Uh, <laughs> it's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s. I don't even know how old I am. <laughs> All I know is that we're approaching the end times. <laughs> That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you there. But now she relaxes her shoulders. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? <sighs> Radios are being used to control people's mind and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreign and women! <laughs> cop, we live it under the cop regime. <laughs> We're governed by intel intel intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the frets market. The frets market freeze. Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. Um, I'd like to think it's a dictatorship. <laughs> I was doing so well, Chet. I was like, I know what year it is. I know where I am. <laughs> Radios <laughs> control our minds! <laughs> I think it's some kind of democracy, nope. maybe? Sadly not. Damn. Revishol is what's called a zone of control. Under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is... market-driven. I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed! It is quite disappointing, yes. A lot of people would like some form of representation. There's talk, but for now, the RCM is all we've got. If there's no government, how come there are cops? Oh dear. <laughs> and you were doing so well. <laughs> I there was aren't doing any so cops well. I'm in so sorry, Not Lena. in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. Oh man. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. These are some big words for Elmo. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. <laughs> <laughs> what is the revolution you mentioned? A defeat, I'm afraid. The people of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. What well, does any of that have anything to do with there not being any cops? <laughs> but I'm a cop. <laughs> I'm a cop. Whatever it was hasn't stopped me. Of course, sweetie. I, I really don't know how to explain it better. So, how did I do? <laughs> you were doing quite well up until the end there. It does look like you're having trouble remembering things. History and places... Remembering reality in a word, it's very odd. A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his <laughs> notebook. I am so insufferable. <laughs> but maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. No, I'm not no. an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. That's a good point. This doesn't look like rich central. All right. Sweetie needs money. <laughs> Sweetie's getting money. <laughs> I'm gonna beg this, this crippled woman for money. Nah, I'm gonna leave her Of alone. course, dear. Good luck with your case. All right. What'd she give you? Uh, she gave me a pen. Yeah, I got a pen. Oh my god! Monkey! Monkey! Let's protect this thing with our lives. I absolutely will. If I lose this pen, it will be the end of the game. I will never play again. Anyway. Uh. Task. Uh. Hit the reality lowdown. Awesome. All right. I have so many things I need to do, and it's only Monday. Uh, it also is 9.35, and we started the game at 8. 
We spent an hour and a half in this cafeteria <laughs> bullshit. I'll leave. Ew, it's fucking gross out here. Yeah, you can zoom out too. See more. Wow. It's so weird out here. Who's this lady? Who are you? Hello. The RCM in Martinez. What this can I help French. you with? <laughs> we don't right. see a lot of police around here. That's all. The place looks the part. There's graffiti everywhere, and the traffic jam behind you is completely unregulated. Later. <laughs> I need to talk to you. This is a funny haha game. Funny haha -ha game. Funny ha -ha game. The pressure. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, there's definitely Before some depression you stand in it. <laughs> a motor oh, yeah. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. Open in the, the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leather work and heavy fuel oils washes over you. Pick up the radio, pull a toolbox, run your fingers over one of the steering levers, <laughs> tap on the fuel gauge here. Kim, what are we looking at? What is this machine? <laughs> I just pick up a radio. The frequency tableau lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens, radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Come in dispatch, come in, come in Delta 10, this is Firewalker, call me. Hi Ellis, this is the officer from the Birdie Rick Precinct, it's making nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches oh. your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Could you connect me to the 31st precinct? I have something I need to report. Just a second, officer. Alright, she puts you on hold, static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. 10 2, 10 5. This is 41st. Uh, come in. Over. Hi, Phineas. How's it going, Finn? We're just chilling out. Alright. Hi, this is me. Here, I work for your station. Then for what's your status? Over. Uh, I uh. Ten eighteen, ten twenty. Over. Please talk like a human to me. These numbers mean nothing to me. State your message, sir. Over. I need to report my badge position. I'm in dire need of financial assistance. This might sound odd, but there is personal details I'd like to discuss. I need to report my badge missing. Ten nine, repeat message, over. My badge, I can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. Ten four, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to 1022 the captain, over. 1022 the captain? This sounds bad. Bad and scary. Like being called to the headmaster's office in school. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge? Hey, who this is this? This is communication officer Jules Pidieux, sir. Over. No, the other one. You mean your partner? Over. What is he saying? <coughs> He's asking who you are. <laughs> I'm his goddamn partner. Oh. It's your partner, satellite officer Vitmar, sir. Over. This game is French. It's very French. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? Sounds like he's losing his patience. Oh god. Who lost his badge? Oh god, who the just fuck is this ginger looking at? Clean. Who the fuck is this? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? My name is Dick. Fucking Mullen. I woke up and my name is Dick. <laughs> Dick Mullen. Damn it. 
<laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so upset. It's Officer Dick Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Great. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name <laughs> yeah. of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. <laughs> laughing at me. Come on, operator. Tell them to stop. This is serious. Ha ha, officer lost his badge. Ha ha. Like, I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. Oh, God damn it. Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vikmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Mullen dicked us. <laughs> okay, my name is definitely Mullins. That doesn't make it any better. Uh, can't we just move on? I want to get it reported and be done with it. 10 I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! I want to- I want to die. What's going on? Oh Super Cop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. <laughs> Could you all please stop? <laughs> Just stop saying lost his badge for a moment. Enough of this now, I have another thing to discuss. Then nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. They're mocking my alcoholism. <laughs> I think they know you're an alcoholic. How dare they? I need to prove that I'm not an alcoholic. I need to get sober Ask right him. now. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know <laughs> oh, no! it is. Oh, I don't have my gun. I don't have my gun. No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. Great. Ten nine, come in, officer. Did you get my question? <laughs> you were wondering about your gun. gun. Over. All right, chat. <laughs> All right, chat. <laughs> You're gonna... Uh, lie. Be ashamed. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit, you trust it. <laughs> All right. All right. Shit, all right. All right. All right, chat. We're going to see if my drama can really pack it up. All of you, don't tell me not to lie. Huh? Shears! <laughs> oh, it just means that they re uh, retracted the thing. Ah, sure. <laughs> if we're at a 50 50, oh no! <laughs> No! <laughs> no! <laughs> We're so fucked. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know, but I don't think our drama is going to get us out of this one, Chief. I don't know. <laughs> I will say, when tied, we pick the gamble. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. We're at a... <laughs> we have a 17% chance. Guys, I Chief, think that's a good enough chance. Got, what do got, you think? We got good odds. I yes. think we got great odds right now. I don't typically now. condone lying, but... <laughs> I would typically... Sure, surely we get ourselves out of this situation. I clearly, yeah, no, obviously. I think we can do it. Since you guys are so into... I don't typically... <laughs> Even before Shit. you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. No, of course I didn't lose my fun gun. Fuck, Fuck it. it. I, I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. <laughs> Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. Oh the fuck do you need a gun for? Look at the pythons on your arms. Yeah. You are a gun. I am the a biggest one in the world. Kim, what are you packing? <laughs> <My God. laughs> Just throw it on to Kim. Kim. What gun do you have right now? <laughs> it's a single shot kill A9. An <laughs> armistice to be precise. Single shot kill! <laughs> it's a kill uh, 9mm armistice. <laughs> armistice? What? Is he a fucking. Clearly, he doesn't have his villier anymore. Well, I tried. Dear God, he lost his gun! Oh, oh my, I can't! <laughs> 
As it comes to laughter again. This isn't really a laughing matter. Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, but this go here and him piss his pants. Bro. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his ass because he still got his wiener. I'm not going to. Ask him. <laughs> Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Now is a good time to say fuck and ass and so on. <laughs> That'll make this all right. <laughs> I left it in his mama after I fucked her in the ass all night telling him <laughs> <clears throat> That's a negative. I'm not going to say that. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Share with the class. He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. <laughs> <laughs> The prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. Whatever, Mac. Fuck you. I don't know you. <clears throat> sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Cry about it. Tell him to apologize right now. <clears throat> Sergeant Dorson requests that you apologize for the claims that you made about his mother. Over. <laughs> Tell him I'm sorry. It was just banter. I thought that's what cops do. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck this guy. Hey, if you don't like the fallout, maybe don't fuck with the firewalker. Mac, he says uh, you shouldn't have antagonized the firewalker in the first place. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? Satellite Mac. officer V. Firewalker. Um, I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as firewater, sir. Firewater? He's lost it. I have. Fuck it. Tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing that matters. Satellite officer. Uh, no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good without my gun. Thanks! <laughs> double down. Keep doubling down. Keep doubling down. <laughs> Jules doesn't get paid enough for this. <laughs> no, he does not. I heard him. Denfor, affirmative. Officer in pursuit of his firearm. Oh, God, I... Uh... Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. I'm in dire need of financial... <laughs> this is like that, that fucking... <laughs> that Bernie Sanders meme. <laughs> I am asking you for... <laughs> Wait, hold on, what was the meme? I am asking you again for your financial support. <laughs> I am asking you again like for financial support. <laughs> This might sound odd, but there's personal details I'd like to discuss. I am in dire need of financial assistance. Send for, I hear you. I don't have the authority to answer your request, but... What does he want now? He's asking for money. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Uh, no. I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. You don't know that! I might. Am I? <laughs> Alright, uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, so over. Is it paramount to the investigation that you grant me more money? He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell him that. Request denied, sir. Over. Nothing Damn. is working. <laughs> okay, I hear you no problem. Anything points. else, sir? Over. This might sound odd, but there is some personal details I'd like to discuss. Uh, okay, then four, sir. I hear you. Relay your question. Over. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, <laughs> think it through. To think about. You're going to be looking at a straitjacket if you tell everyone you lost your memory. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. Then for sir, I'm not hearing your question. Um, let's see. I'm looking for my actress. I don't know where I live. You probably should. I mean, Rhetoric's helped you out there, so you might want to follow his step first. Like, ask him if the room is... Because it's confidential. Right. Uh, are you in a confidential information? I, are you in the loan room? I need some confidential information about myself. That's a negative, so I got a 10-12 here. Over. Great. I want to know if you, if you got my badge's description right in your report. Could you read it to me? Name, rank, date, at birth. I'm looking for my address. I don't know where I live. Please refer to me with my full name in the future. Any news about my uh, family? Have you ever told? Have I ever told you about my life before the RMC? So I have to be smart about this. Apparently, so you don't sound insane. Um, 
I think either one of these options is gonna make me sound pretty fucking stupid. I'm looking for my address. I don't know where I live. <laughs> I feel like this one's too obvious. Please refer to me to my full name in the future. 1009 repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Stop calling me, sir, and just use my real goddamn name, will you? <laughs> uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Oh, that's not going to work. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. <laughs> Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, any news for my, uh, family? <laughs> Ten. Um, excuse me, sir. Over. I just, I just thought you might have heard from that. That's all. Uh, no, sir, I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life, so I've always assumed things weren't that good on that front. Over. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I have no family. I'm an alcoholic. I don't know who I am. <laughs> uh, have I ever told you about my life before the origin? Then for, well, that's, uh... <laughs> Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCN. For God's sake, cut this shit out! Tell him to stop wasting time and be a goddamn policeman for a change. Sir, Satellite Officer Vikmar says... So, um, was there anything else? <sighs> I guess number two is my only thing where I'm gonna get any sort of thing. What? Maybe. What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen, oh. High General of the Revisholian Cavalry Force. Is that sarcasm? Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. Fine, I... <laughs> At this point, I should just wrap it up. Fine, I'm just Understood, sir. Up. Over. That's all for now. Roger that. Ten, ten. Over and out. Um... Shh, okay, fine. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Sylvie, I think, because she was the one that reported Of course. True. What is the number, officer? I can't actually, yeah. Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on, officer. Mmm, crispy. Mm, tingly on the ears. Mmm. Start slapping and <laughs> marching for them on your thigh. <laughs> I have ADHD. <laughs> Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? Hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about your last days of work. <laughs> Sophie, I believe we met before. This is me, a detective from the Worlingian... Whirly in rags. I mean, if she wasn't in, I don't know if this would be relevant. But I'm well, she, All she right. the Whirly in rags. Yeah. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? There is no resentment in her tone. She wants you to ask her out. <laughs> what? No question about it. Ain't no way. <laughs> Have you seen my badge? Have you seen my gun? <laughs> <laughs> Was it you who called the police? Why'd you quit your job at the Whirling? Uh, hey, do you want to grab a cup of coffee with me sometime? Um, uh, uh, let's see. Who was it? Was it you who called the police? No, not me. Uh, but why didn't you call? Okay, who made that no, call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. <laughs> didn't a corpse didn't a corpse behind your work bother you? <laughs> oh god, I don't want, I don't know if I want to like lean in on this woman too much. I don't know them. But then again, I leaned You gotta in. get information somehow. Sure, right? why didn't you call the cops? What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the union already knew about the court. I mean, oh, so you should have called the police. What does the union have to do with anything? No one calls the police. The union would get angry. What do you mean by you that? You know, what the union says goes. People listen to them and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. 
Wait, Kim, is she speaking the cure the union for law around here? I am the authority around here! <laughs> Looks like there's no limit to my authority. <laughs> Looks like there's a limit to my authority then. Tell me why exactly did you let the corpse hanging in your own backyard for weeks instead of calling us? See, maybe there's something else you could tell me about. Um. Legally, yeah. no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers Union. I am the authority right <laughs> Looks like there's a limit to my authority. I am the authority! My brain is playing tricks on me. I don't know who I am. Unga bunga. 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 Okay. Whoa. Guys, I just leveled up by doing unga bunga. Did you see that? You. 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 Basically, you put your authority onto her and you healed yourself mentally. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Tell me exactly why you didn't let the. Push it. I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. Exactly. Let me get this straight. You ignored the law to save your own skin. What? Others? The other people who live around here. Local people. I... I didn't want trouble. What trouble? You don't live here. You don't understand. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with, well, by the union. Internally. Please, I just didn't want any trouble. Let me get this straight. You ignored the law to save your own skin. Unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga. Why are you? Why are you questioning me? Unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga, Help me. Make a choice. Ah, uh, chat, chat, help me. Be, be an ass. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. I, why can't I spell? All right, chat. There's a there's a poll in the chat. Should I be an asshole? I'm going to go get a snack. Where are you going? Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. <laughs> are you okay? Cracking open a, a cold one. You guys told me maybe don't do that. What? You don't want me to go unga bunga? This is bullshit. <laughs> Fine. 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 I'll back you do? off. <sighs> what else can I do for you? Uh, why did you call? Uh. Yeah, go on. Uh, why'd you quit your job? You mean why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Uh, did you believe because of that fucking asshole? What? No, why would you even think that? He told me as, uh, don't be afraid of that pig. You have to stand up for yourself. <laughs> Please, don't bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. God, why can't you just mind your own business? She <laughs> mutters. I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. <laughs> Have you seen my gun? <laughs> hey, you want to drive a car? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Fuck you, lady. Have you seen my badge? <laughs> I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. Wait, why does she seem angry over here? <laughs> yes, yeah. you have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags. When she was still working there. I'm not mad, it's just... You were so drunk and so emotional all the time, and then... The skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. What's... What the fuck is the skewer the thing? The bird. The great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, Fuck that bird! <laughs> and laughing like a maniac. <laughs> Holy shit! You're, un you're unhinged! <laughs> 
Fuck that bird. <laughs> no wonder he's so pissed. Oh, no wonder Gart's pissed at me about the fucking bird. I threw it across the room and it ended up against the wall. Same. Fuck that bird. Fuck that and bird. Maniacally. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. You were dealing with... I think... My inner demons were... Your inner demons. <laughs> You're a fucking schizo. I'm a fucking schizo. Bitch bird got what was coming to her. Double down. I double love, down. I love double how double down. I love how unhinged you can be in this yeah. game. Yeah. You could be like try to be a normal person, or you can just go full throttle unhinged. That doesn't sound anything like me. I love birds. <laughs> I feel like that's more unhinged than being no. a fucking that fuck that bird and count what it's coming to. That sounds like me. All right. This doesn't sound like me. I love birds. <laughs> I love sand. Yes, well. <laughs> uh, so you're telling me that I was the one that made you quit. Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen so many assholes in this place. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months. But you, well, you were worse than all of them. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things like not turning down the volume at 3 a.m. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I, I hate it now. So we go weird. on by the OO. I can't listen to it anymore. You've turned it into a parody. <laughs> Sorry about the song. The hell with that song. Okay. Then there was your room. Your project. An experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant, and I don't want to know. And then you screamed something about how you're actually a real cool guy, and <laughs> no one understands it. One of the coolest guys there is. The coolest guy in Jamrock. Something about disco, too. <laughs> Sounds intense. And then I had to deal with your toilet. The one you clogged with police documents causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. Oh. Kim is listening to all of this, by the way. <laughs> hey, police documents. Oh, God. What have you done with I won't even documents? mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. Wait, police I, documents? Oh. <laughs> The ones I had to rinse out of your toilet. Wait, yep. wait. I love how in that the gun the harassment of customers, threatening to kill yourself, threatening to sing karaoke, and waving your gun around, the thing you hook onto is the document. <laughs> so that's all I can hook onto. But the gun. Where did I, the gun go? Damn it. I don't, know. I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember every little thing I do. She's worried she might have accidentally done something bad. Then she remembers it's you. Me. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them. Not mine. Something in you wants to immediately forget about this. As if there was a reason you threw them away. Okay, I get it. I wasn't a very good tenant. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. I'm trying to show you the world. I was trying to show you the world of tomorrow. The great panic at the end. <laughs> well... You're oh the my worst tavern witch I've ever That's seen. That's so fucking bad. <laughs> Girl, just listen up a little. Don't you have a party? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know what, chat? I'm going to be a not. I want to be a recovering alcoholic. A recovering alcoholic. I'm sorry. God, I, I know I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again, and let's pretend it never happened. What else did I do besides saying the OO? I'm looking for I feel a like three is a good one to pick. Wait, really? No, this is absolutely not true. I like Guard. I really do. Didn't he cross the line when he asked you out? No, I was actually flattered. I've always liked him. <gasps> it was just bad timing with the corpse and all that. There's a pause. You can almost see her on the other side. The telephone cord coiled around her index. I didn't know what to say to him later. Then you came and destroyed the place. So I left without explaining. <sighs> I should have told him, maybe. 
I can tell him. Okay, but please don't mess it up. Please don't take out your gun or something. Oh, don't worry. I don't have that. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> uh, what else did I sing besides the OL? I'm looking for a song. All, all sorts of things. From disco, rock too. So much disco and rock. Was I singing the smallest church in the Saint Sands? Yeah, that's the one you like to sing along to the most. The later it got, the more that one came on. Interesting. You still have to find a copy, though, before you can blast it. Right. Thank you for talking to me. Take care. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then, the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? <laughs> Please connect me, so we <laughs> uh, Ignore Alice and press the button labeled saved. Can I save the game? Uh, no, the game automatically saves. I'm done with the radio 57, for over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I'm not gonna fuck with any I of mean those. the, uh, toolbox might be useful. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat and clicks into place. The tools inside are neatly organized. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. He's clearly a little protective of his tools. But what can you do? Work uh... is work. I'm gonna take the. F I mean, all the tools might be useful. I mean, the pry the tool tips at the pry bar would be good for break like opening up things. You I'm can't. Take the, the handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. You can do good work with these. I can. Cut chains, locks, and ropes, especially belts. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue, blue. Let's you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. <laughs> Pre-heater okay. gauge casts a warm glow on Why, the steering I? levers and I the mean, radio there's on no its point hook. Not to. A metallic drawer slides out from under the seat. And the pride cold and heavy, like truth. You feel like you're reunited with truth once more. I have a weapon. Useful for opening all sorts of doors. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts a warm glow in the steering levers. Good. You close the door. Leave. Ooh. All around you, rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. Rain drips from the eaves and floods the gutters, washing the filth away. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. Oh, look, it's the body, everybody. Look! Oh God, there the he body. is in the distance! What am I doing? Looking up at the sky, cold water dripping from your hair. Grey sky like great battleships, clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. How does it feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your disco blazer grow heavy. The cold finds its way in under your skin. You shiver, and the city shivers with you you're not dressed for this weather you should get an overcoat or a patrol cloak <laughs> motherfucker this rain will not let up anytime soon you should get a raincoat there's a frit to the east they sell them there a frit to the east you just ignored all the i'm gonna animation. why would i need to i i mean i don't know but it was say north east west and south so i was i was going to assume that was going to just give you basic information what's in that direction Listen, I can get in direction by just zooming out and looking around. I don't need no one's help. I'm hobo cop, bitch. That was you, though. That would have told you that. Shut up. <laughs> She's schizoing again. I'm schizoing. You know who needs the schizo now? You do. Oh, hey, I love up. Wait, where? What? So, so now that, okay, now this is how this works. Each pick, you see how the perception has already a white one while the rest are hollow? So yeah. you can... For everything, each hollow you can fill up with one pick. Oh, what the? I didn't. Yeah, you had to escape. Oh. So when you you want to click on something and then hit level up if you want to level that one up. I want but they the get a max level of the base of attributes. So like psyche, all your psyche stuff can only get up to a maximum of two extra levels. Okay. From my understanding. I want the authority. I want the authority. <laughs> you sure? Yes. 
I don't want to regret. I want to regret nothing. Revert? Quick to revert. Said no. I absolutely want more authority. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. Would you like to uh, discover the body, my dear? Oh yeah. Let's let's find out the. What's that? Ooh. Oh, it's my turn. Your gamer time. Oh god. It's. This is gonna be a great mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to make horrible decisions. Ugh. Back in your element. Back in my game chair. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's it's rat time. Alright. I have taken control. It's rat time. What? I'm just... I don't make it, it that sticky. It's... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that. Set of tire like tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza right mosaic. I want to make some for myself. Bacon and eggs! <laughs> what? What? Here. Why? We got like 40 minutes before okay, fine. we end it out. I want. I'm just hungry. I'm <laughs> hungry too. We can hold it out though. Alright, fine. Oh boy, visual calculus. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred. And you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. Shh. Cop oh, habit. You look at everything. So true. <laughs> so Let's true, Bestie. This. No. These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Okay. This has nothing <laughs> at all related evidence. to the case. That might be important evidence, but I'm going to say fuck it. Oh, wait, you left me into this scenario. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna let you deal oh, with the kid. <laughs> God, deal with the fucking kid. <laughs> it smells like spoiled meat and curled dairy. A human being decomposes. Alright, warning chat. We have a. We're, this is gonna be showing a dead body. Dead bodies! <laughs> dead bodies! There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve peers have walked here. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. What do you think you are? A super detective? You're hungover. These are just my, dents in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. My, my, I, I took a, a, mor a mental morale hit. Damn. I, I don't want to talk to the kid. <laughs> Unless I have more morale of scary. Oh hey, magnesium. Let me just take that real quick. Just pop some magnesium I found on the ground. <laughs> That'll boost my morale. Uh, it literally did. Uh, yeah. That was what a, the that fuck? Was, that was a morale healer. I just ate raw magnesium. Let me just eat some raw drugs from the street. Wow, I feel morally sound. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. That's really gross. That's, yeah, you seem to be this. holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. God, even with our for endurance, he's... <laughs> So Active decay. He took it to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! 
asshole. <laughs> I, I need to deal with these little shits first. <laughs> Why throw up all over the place? Kuno's got this. Always throwing rocks at the dead body. Can't be older than twelve. Oh yeah, Napa Goofy Kuno. What did you just say? The fuck is that a slur? <laughs> Napa Goofy. I don't get it. Hey. That was the other kid behind the fence. <laughs> Can't talk, time. pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. A <laughs> juicy one now. Juicy what? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Oh. Uh... Yeah, Kuno. Ride the lightning, Kuno. No, Kuno he's on drugs. Let's see. Wipes sweat from his brow and sends him to the rock pile. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. <laughs> Kuno's fucking stupid. <laughs> like me, the stupid hobo cop, who's also a raging feminist. <laughs> That's right, I gotta remember, I'm a raging feminist. <laughs> okay, what's your we shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What you will see. Kid, you wanna I'm hang out? out? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. No, no, Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking <laughs> entrapment shit. Fuck. <laughs> this kid has got street smarts. Mmm, street smarts. Uh. Are you kids siblings? I'm not even gonna ask that question. Why? Alright, entertain the Kuno. Something, tell, something tells Show me, me I what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got! The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Uh, about the crime scene, you kids have to play in this yard? Who is Kuno? <laughs> I, I'm assuming you're Kuno, I don't know I'm if I'm assuming need he's to Kuno. Ask. I, don't, I don't think we need to ask that. I don't think I'm, he's gonna tell me anything about that. I'll just ask Right, this. Pig, this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Um, is there? Should we investigate the greenhouse? And I don't know. Tell us Keep that garden. I used to work there. Kept. <laughs> Look it up in the library. Kuno's not a fucking dictionary. Fucking small brain. Kuno means the gardener. All right. Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Uh, clearly. <laughs> My question's later for now. Let's talk about something. Yeah, else. whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. It's over his shoulder, then looks back at you. Uh, the body, what do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Like a cop. <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone suspicious around? Do you do know, you know who, who he was? Yeah. How did he get up there? How did he get Probably up there? climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it ever. You heard Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. <laughs> he wasn't regional. I'm not even okay. here, dog. I don't know. Some fucking... Just come mess or, or... I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Nah, press him. He totally killed him. He totally killed him. You have to kill him. Kuno the whole time. Kuno's fuck gimp. Kuno uses the fuck gimp for target practice. Oh my god. He could have just said he doesn't know. He just said he don't know. Kuno knows shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. The popo phone. Anyone suspicious? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Oh. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> Kuno's Demonetized. Bam! Oh. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is going on? Uh, these fucking. I don't even understand. 
I mean, could we get away with the first one? He's just saying Ferrari okay, in Kuno E. Kuno doesn't fucking care. I'm gonna get away from this I'm, kid. I'm just not. <laughs> There's a trash can. Stick to that. Right in the dick. Get him right, right in, in the, the dick. dick. These kids are unhinged. These They're children unhinged. need a ch parrot. What's in the trash? This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. <laughs> this, Why am this I is... looking at you? The body is downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. How do you get we could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... Or Lieutenant? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. <laughs> well, on Fourth time, jam the tool the lid and pull. Oh, I can't get my inventory from your home. So if we equip this, does it become... Yo, we get to fucking hold shit? Yo! Oh my god. Yo! What, what is that angle? Blind Ooh. the child. <laughs> Flashbang him. This trash container is locked. The wow. sliding Even lid has a padlock it, that says, whirling in rags. Oh? That's insane. What the fuck? You know, I think I'm just gonna go and ask for the key. <laughs> Nah, fucking pry it open with your bare hands. With your teeth. With I'll your get teeth. the key and then pry it open like a madman. <laughs> <laughs> like a rat. Oh yeah, we can tell this guy that that girl actually really liked him. And actually oh yeah, and I can date. ruin it. <laughs> ruin it! Can I ruin help you? Asshole. The trash can you back yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the Whirling in Rags. That's what I meant. I mean, you own the Whirling Rags. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. He's and trying the to keep too. me out. They put that trash there and they don't work. take the garbage company. <laughs> I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. <laughs> what is this feeling? Prod at him and find out. <laughs> what if I told you I am a hobo? I'm soon to be rummaging through that trash. Will you keep me out too? <laughs> it doesn't seem callous for you guarding even your leftovers from the poor. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> callous? What are you, Kras Mazov? Almost all establishments in Revishol keep their trash locked. The whirling in rags is not special in that regard. If I told you I am a hobo, <laughs> I'm a hobo. B1, rummaging through the trash. Hobo cop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> to survive. Good call. So would I teach a man? Teach a man to fish. <laughs> I'm not a fishing teacher. That is not why we keep our trash locked. Any place with a kitchen does it. It's not political, I assure you. <laughs> Look, we need those keys. Man. What do you need them for? It concerns the keys. Please cooperate. <laughs> Just bring them back once you're done, please. <gasps> we got the keys. <laughs> so about the money I owe. Uh, I have seen something curious. Uh, I don't even know what that thing he was referring to. I'm not sure either. I, I just know the third one. That's because of me, not you. Maybe Wait, you. what? But what about the bird? The bird? Yes, the bird. I found it lying on the floor with a broken wing the morning she left. <laughs> she didn't break it. I did. I did. I threw it. You the broke the skewer! The face is flushed with emotion. A rash. I assure you, it was him. <laughs> <laughs> Cam! Cam! I thought you were going to back me up! Why on earth did you have to break the skewer? Well, technically, he did back back me up because I said I, mean, I did yeah, it. So. Yeah. I just break I just things. Break That's things. the way I am. <laughs> the way I am. Maybe I have a vendetta against it. <laughs> so miss it. I I just break things. It's the way. I, I can't am. believe it. I was so sure it was Sylvie. Even worse, I thought she was trying to send me a message, symbol of hope and all. That Aww. bird ain't no symbol of hope. It's a menace <laughs> and a traitor. 
fuck this bird. All right. Did she say anything else about me? You know, did, did she say anything about me? Um. Nah, I mean, I feel like we should be straight, but like, you know. <laughs> she said she was flattered. It was just. Really? I, I should, I should give her a call then. Gar, I don't like you, but I believe in love. Thanks, I guess. Was there anything else you wanted, or...? We were sort of hoping there would be a gun, an expensive jewel, <laughs> or at least a sword in it for you, if you deliver the message. Oh well. Yes, have you got it? Like what? I was really enjoying talking about the money you owe me. <laughs> What thing? This whole loser for the union. Yes, oh, this not the whole like, damn uh, union, thank yeah. God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. This thing. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. I feel like that was a yeah. slight against me. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. Okay. We don't. Good, good we have to wait. Kim. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. Man, I saw a sign that said I could go into the kitchen. Why can't I go into the kitchen? What are you, a cook now? That's none of your business. Maybe I am a cook. There may be something pertaining to the investigation. He wasn't pan fried. He was lynched. What could the kitchen possibly have to do with? Fine. Okay. The kitchen is closed until one p.m. because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. Yippee! What? Yippee. <laughs> By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Absolutely out of the question. Wait, why? Absolutely in the question. <laughs> First we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. <laughs> to shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Gar, uh, that girl really likes you. Actually, we need to get into your kitchen. Actually, we need the keys. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna sing, sing karaoke. karaoke and sing the shit. I'm gonna sing the shit out of karaoke. Fuck. Fuck the police. I, I mean, I'm a policeman, and I even say fuck the police. Pigs go home. The street's name is the world. I have a f strange feeling that people don't like police around here. You're back. Of course. What can I help you with? What is, th what is this fuck the police? <laughs> mm -hmm. He doesn't understand. The street sign says fuck the police. Oh. Well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. What about the other sign? Pigs go home. Who are these pigs? <laughs> I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. No need to worry. We are not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. Uh, Me? Exactly. I am just a gardener. She hides it well. But behind the sweat and dirt there is something else in her rigid posture it's more to you than that is there the quickness of the reply certainly does not prove you wrong yes what are you doing <laughs> i'm working Got out of what? i have a greenhouse in the yard there she just was over i've been trying to get some work done but well as you probably know there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. 
Yo, she's Tools. fucking snorting bath Ammonia salts trying salts. to work. Perhaps useful for later. Ammonia salts. Is the street <laughs> signs messed up? Okay. What do you need? Where am I? <laughs> Where am I? There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, okay, some more so tenements. He's gonna do everything that I not just a lot, decided, really. Fuck, I'm not gonna do. <laughs> what is in the east? The harbor gates, some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store too. What's in the south? Some shops and a bridge. <laughs> the canal the bridge south. leads to the coast, well, but it's broken. Deep I think. <laughs> Some kind of accident, probably. What a good movie. It was on the other side of the canal. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there. And a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. Rows of stalls under a broad roof. Where silvery fish were heaped on newspapers. Water, water everywhere. Pouring from the heavens. In the shadow of the old church. Kind of fish I don't know. The abandoned kind? The it abandoned used to gather every spring. But there's nothing to do there now. Just drug addicts. Hmm, good to know. <laughs> Yo, I know where to so, get some drugs. So we know where our dealers are at. We know where the dealers are at. What is in the west? It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. That's all I need. No problem. She's very well composed. Back straight. I have to run. Of course. Bye. I won't hold you back. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Oh, yeah. oh one more thing. Can I borrow your gloves? Sure. Keep them. I have another pair. She must be very diligent about the glove use because her hands are clean and delicate. Now we got some gloves. Do we need to wear this? I'm gonna put them on right now. Give us an interface. Bye bye bugs. <laughs> we look like a fucking. Vivid imagination. <laughs> we, look, we look like a rundown version of Gordon from fucking. <laughs> look at him. Gordon down on his luck. <laughs> Gordon? I'm hungry. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe you're hungry. Maybe you should. Clean yourself up there, Gordon. <laughs> you don't look so good. <laughs> Gordon, you look fucking starved. <laughs> Gordon, I'm hungry. Yeah, this is the trash. This trash, trash container garbage. is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, with a well oiled crack, the lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I don't you like shouldn't. you either. Of course you should. This is your time to shine, Hobo Shine, Hobo Cop! Hobo Cop. Oh. that dumpster for extra content. Just a feeling. A warning from some part of you. I don't care. The smell of rotten <laughs> food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Gross. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Uh, let's pick up the rag. Is it the body covered for in rags or something? Dig it, Hobo Cop style for extra content! <laughs> Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. As the legs of the slime covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. Are these the victim's clothes? The smell is not nearly Whoa, as bad as the cadaver. Stuff, These clothes the could crime. not have been in contact with the deceased for more than two days after his death. So you're telling me somebody stripped his pants off? Two days after his death? Cadaverino door is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. That's gross. So somebody took his pants off while he was hanging midair. Dropped them in here. It was probably Kuno, cool, let's be honest. So it produces the light. Plastic bag marked evidence from his pocket. By early stages, these were taken from him more than two days after his death. Yes, I think the clothes were taken off to get to that armor he wore, then discarded. They must have stripped him of it fast too, the scavengers, in a matter of days. Bag Guitar marked blue jeans, pockets empty or emptied. 
He wore them with a belt, too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. Just garbage. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. <laughs> yeah, we need to ask the kids who put them here. You think someone from the room might be involved? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. <laughs> the fuck's he on about, kids? You hear that, Kuno? He thinks you're an infant or something. You are, See? you're like 12. <laughs> See? <laughs> Kim, Kim does not like dealing with kids. The lieutenant <laughs> nods, then looks back into the trash container. You see, milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. You've done this before. The movements are recorded in your elbows. The methodology in your fingers. You're used to this. Used to what? Dumpster diving? No. Searching for evidence in the trash. Good practice for dumpster diving. A box <laughs> falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Soleil cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, what's this? What? Elbows out, there's nothing more here. A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple pills. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Something larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can this still make out papers. forms and notes written in a man's handwriting. Not just any man's. This House? dense cursive, it's yours. <gasps> oh my god! It's our papers! We found them! Officer, is that your paperwork? The handwriting, it's mine! There's a lot of it too. And you've got an autopsy form in there, in the back. That light pink copy paper. Miserable looking slip of paper sticks out. Sticks if you don't mind my asking, shit, how could you have let your paperwork end up in the trash? It must have been cramping my style! <laughs> For poking quality to it. Maybe I needed to lose it. For the great bloodletting to begin. <laughs> <laughs> what I think the I didn't fuck? want to be a cop anymore. That's why I tried to flush my cop life down the toilet. I'd rather not talk about it right now. <laughs> well, lucky we found it. You should take stock of what remains, just to be sure some has not made it into the hands of the RCM's That's adversaries. Organized oh. crime and the like. Oh, I was like they yeah. might have been police secrets in your notes. <laughs> That's so yeah, funny. It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? Time to dig in, hobo oh cop God, style. For, wow, for an armistice caliber 50 knock cannon. Half wrapped in paper tissues. So shiny. Is that your Where gun? I can't... Where I can't... Never mind. Look at that fat string of archipelagon pearls snaking amidst the banana peels. And is that Cordon Electric's preamp with Electra F2 tubes? It is. That catches quite a price. We're talking 12,000. Easy. Unless you're into hi-fi yourself. Also. No, you won't. Because none of those things are real. They're not actually in there. All you see is food waste and crisp wrappings. A cruel chest. There must be something. <laughs> All you see is a broken mug with a racist depiction of the yellow man. From oh, a my oh my god! Don't try the kid! No, 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 no
Dr. Joel at the camp. An antique? <laughs> no. Only in its social sensibility. Don't show that to Kim. Mm -hmm. Don't show oh. that <laughs> 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 oh, no! at the mug that returns this. Oh, Kim, we're the so sorry. The container sounds of muffled gong. We could sell it. <laughs> we could sell the racist mug. That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. Well, I'm so sorry. Um. Ooh, a taste a damaged ledger. Look at that. Look at our paperwork, chat. It's oh so God. pretty. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Oh, it, oh. This broke, broken eared mug somehow made its way into the whirling in rags dumpster. It depicts a person of Shamaran descent frolicking in a field of saffron flowers, buck toothed and grinning feeble mindedly. Oh, God. It seems to be a cheap knockoff of some colonial era antique. What the? F oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. To about even the, own the hit, this. There's an interact button. I don't want to interact with it. I'm. That's what scares me. I'm afraid. How are we gonna interact with it? How could we possibly interact with it with Other Kim? Other than there? The, with Kim, and I don't think that's a good idea to interact with it with Kim, Kim here. All right. Okay, well. We, we deal, let's see if we can deal with the. There he we still go. is, looking right through you, with his white oh, eyes. The body below is entirely <laughs> dedicated. To that corpse smell emitting it is all the smell is repulsive it pushes in from your mouth more instant and more oh, familiar than role. anything you oh, expected oh, yeah. I, I more fever than oh odor. god it and fills like, your mind over. flushing you from within i wonder if there would have been any way to actually away. succeed oh man oh, oh, and oh. 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 we just ruined the crime scene I mean, to be fair, it's been, like, inhabited for seven days, so I Oh, guess... that last sound. Too late. Yeah. It's impossible to keep in. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst, until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from the stomach acid. The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Does Among it, the still spirit a bit? and bits of shish kebab. Hmm? I was gonna say, now that we've thrown up, now that it's out of our system, are we sober now? Fucking corpse. Skip it. Fucking corpse. Tenet hands you a blue checkered handkerchief. Thanks. Thank you. I don't need your pity. No, don't be rude to me. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. Didn't we pick up ammonia or no? No, I think we picked up like something else. Oh, okay. I think ammonia would Where help. Where did we get ammonia from? I don't need that shit! <laughs> sure you do. You just threw up a lot. Okay. That young yeah, woman, yeah. the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. That's the if she doesn't have any, there might be some in the fridge store nearby. <laughs> Alright, well... Kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. Alright, just, just walk over this way. Finish looking in this area before we go... Go and take some bath salts to recover. The sound of melting snow. It's strange. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material eat tonight. How am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Because there's a secret Ooh. door hidden behind the panels of eat tonight. That's why they're too orderly. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Wow! We found oh my God. Door. Secrets! What is this then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Investigate! Let's investigate the crime. Fucking ammonia. We need to fucking do our job. Oh, there's a pig head in here. Lovely. And due to magnesium. Oh, it's a magnesium supplement. Okay, drugs. Okay, <laughs> base drugs. Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine, sweet amphetamine. Oh no! The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. 
He's studying you. So he's taking narcotics here. Perhaps the police shouldn't interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it. I swear. <laughs> I was thinking about, I was thinking justice. about justice. I've heard amphetamines make you really good detective. <laughs> and you a really good detective? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, are we addicts? Are we? I haven't decided if we're an addict yet. We already are an alcoholic. Let's, let's see what where this goes. Perhaps <laughs> not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor. No, a secret path the local kids use. Mm. Children! Oh, so that must that be what says get out of the way. Or, or get, get fucked, fucked up. <gasps> Item. Money! Money! They just robbed children. We need more money. Wait, the book's back! Oh my god! No, Kim. He's Kim writing in it with his mind! Oh my god! What? What? <laughs> Where did it go? Kim, okay. <laughs> Dude, Kim's a psychic. Cursed pig head. It looks mummified. That's disturbing. Alright. I think this is a good spot to end off. <laughs> Just witness Just Kim uses psychic powers. And and feminines. Yo, this must be Kuno shit. This must be what he's fucking no, on. This is this is definitely their this has to be their hideout. Yeah. Ooh, careful. Oh, I'm good. Alright. Give me these phones. We're gonna end it here. Baby, what is it? Would you like to say anything to our lovely chat? I hope you enjoyed the uh, definitely safe wording of this game. <laughs> I hope that y'all enjoyed and the definitely uh, appropriate language that we endured today. Yes, educational. All of it. <laughs> Learning about Revishal. <laughs> all right, chat. It's been, we've been streaming uh, for about, what? It's been 12 three to 3 hours. I think that's a good place to start off. We can probably play this more in the future. In like a future stream in the near distant future. time frame. <laughs> That's what the future is. It is indeed how the future. But uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Sunstar. Thank you, thank you for everybody who decided to pop in real quick. I know we didn't have too many folks, but it was nice to do something that isn't making a video. <laughs> and playing a game that has a very good dialogue. That is very. It's the, the voice acting in this game was phenomenal. Oh, I love everything about this. I need to know who the main narrator guy is, because his voice is tiddling. It's what? You heard what I said. Okay. <laughs> tiddling. tiddling. I was going to do a quick save. I just want to save the game. Save. Just do a save. I, I don't know why I did a quick Maybe. save when I could just easily, you know. But, thank you guys for watching. This is the first time we did, like, a stream where I'm actually playing, like, a video game, so that's kind of fun. Um, of course, we might do more streams like this in the near future. Uh, and I look forward to doing those more more with the rat. The rat. The rat. Uh, I'm going to probably go edit some more. Or eat. I haven't decided eat. yet. I think eating's a good idea. What eat. do we want to eat, my love? Food. Food? What kind of food? I don't know. <laughs> he scurries into the kitchen. The rat is hungry. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, everybody. This was a lot of fun. Uh, we might stream again. I'm going to try to commit to monthly streams. I don't... I, I'm going to try, at least. I think uh, if I... When I explained it in the beginning what my new schedule is going to be, if I stick to that, I feel like I'm going to go less insane <laughs> over time. So that would be really good. Uh, I should, in the meantime, at some point, commission someone to do new poster work for the stream because this uh, this layout is old. So we're gonna need to work on replacing it for season two. Um, but that's gonna be it for me. Uh, I've been Lazy Bedhead. Thank you for joining me for a video game stream for once. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm more of a gamer than I give myself credit for. You know, I should find a way to play Yakuza, because Yakuza is a really fun game, and we could definitely fuck around with that as well, because uh, I've been playing that hardcore. I'd have to, of course, do, like, a separate storyline, like a separate save, obviously, but that's a thought. That's a thought that I'd have to go through. 
thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And hope and have a good weekend, because it is the weekend now. We're almost all the way past. We have like two weeks left of June. Or January. June. January. <laughs> I don't even know what fucking month we're on, guys. Uh, we are about two weeks left of this month. Not even, because like the 31st is right in between. It's on a Wednesday. Uh, so enjoy the rest of January. January usually is kind of a bummer month, but I would say it's actually been pretty good. At least channel-wise, it's been great. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the recent uploads, too, including, like, the Andy Ditch one and the actually Gilliard one. Those ones have been doing really, really well, which is awesome. Um, and I'm really, really, really thankful for that, uh, that we're starting, we're basically, we're starting the beginning of January with a really good start. And I'm really, really happy and proud of the progress we're making. So, hopefully, I can leave this stream up. <laughs> Maybe I'll make, uh, what would be a good uh, video uh, idea is probably just taking highlights from the stream and like editing it, like putting it in a compilation reel. I think that would be a really good actually video, like video opportunity. It'd make it super easy. I could just download the fucking stream file. But I'm going to end it here. I'm going to make something for my boy. Would you like food, my rat? Yeah. Goodbye, rat. What the